Transgenesis is the process of introducing a foreign gene into the genome of desired organism in order to obtain desired property of that organism. This technique is widely used for fluorescent labeling of target proteins in the model organisms such as zebrafish. In this way, fluorescently labeled molecules can be easily monitored by fluorescent microscopy. To perform transgenesis, we inject foreign DNA fragment containing promotor region of gene of interest and chosen fluorescent protein in frame with it, such as green fluorescent protein GFP or red fluorescent protein RFP. In this way, the expression of fluorescent protein will be restricted to the expression of target gene. Moreover, additional localization sequences such as membrane or nucleus localization sequence can be added before or after the sequence of fluorescent protein in order to attach it to the particular cell compartment that we are interested in. To perform a transgenesis of zebrafish, the desired DNA fragment has to be inserted in plasmid and then injected in the one cell stage of zebrafish embryo, together with enzyme that will integrate the DNA fragment into the genome of the organism, and optionally phenol red for easier visualization during injections. There are different strategies of DNA insertion into the zebrafish genome. Very popular is system is the TOL2 transposon system, in which the sequence that we want to inject is surrounded by two regulatory sequences from the TOL2 element. This DNA construct is injected together with the messenger RNA encoding for a transposase gene. Transposase is the enzyme that recognizes TOL2 sequences and inserts the fragment between them into the genome. Another used strategy is co-injections of plasmid with ISCE1 meganuclease. The recognition site of this enzyme is a long sequence of 18 base pairs, which is not found naturally in genomes of model organisms. However, plasmid that we inject should contain two recognition sequences for ISC1 enzyme from both sides of the fragment that we want to insert. In this way, fragment will be cut from the plasmid inside the cell and inserted into the genome. After the injections, zebrafish eggs are kept in zebrafish water as usually and carefully cleaned every day to remove the deformed and dead embryos. The number of the fluorescent embryos that have the fragment inserted in their genome and thus express fluorescence depends on the efficiency of insertion and of the target gene expression. This generation of injected embryos is called F0 and it is containing both negative fish and positive fish with mosaic expression which we call founders. The founders are selected and raised to adulthood. Then they are crossed with wild-type fish and screened to find the founders which have the insertion in the germ line and transmit fluorescent expression to their progenies, called generation F1. When the generation F1 is raised to adulthood, positive fish can be crossed between each other in order to obtain F2 generation of homozygous fish, which all be, will be positive, expressing fluorescently labeled protein of interest. This fluorescent protein, or labeled cells, can be then monitored by different techniques of fluorescent microscopy, which we will mention in following weeks. Here you can see the examples of images of transgenic zebrafish embryos taken by spinning disc on focal microscope. The target gene in the first case is MPEG-1, specific for macrophages, so all macrophages in this larva are labeled by green fluorescent protein. And in the second case, the target gene is MPEX, gene expressed in neutrophils and fused to M-cherry red protein, so neutrophils appear in red. By labeling two cell population in different colors, as shown on the third image, we can easily follow their interaction and behavior by fluorescent microscopy.